Hello, fellas, and welcome back to Collectible Stonks. My name is Jamel. Glad to have you guys here today. And today we will be opening another first edition wilderness booster box. Now, please wait for me as I get my handy dandy knife that I seem to have forgotten somewhere. Oh, oh you know, where in the heck did I leave that knife? I don't know where I left the knife, so we're going to be dangerous and we're going to use scissors instead. Because I don't know where the heck I left that. Is that it? Oh, it's right here. I have found the box cutter. Okay. So, thank you guys so much for participating in the in my very first ever giveaway. Unfortunately, today I did not win in the original drop for the, the uh, fan art blister packs. I, I really wanted to get several of them because I really wanted to I wanted to do a, a full-blown opening video to try and see if I can pull all of the uh, the cards from the fan art set which include like La Llorona and several other cards I was really looking forward to getting uh, so unfortunately I only managed to get one in the restock that I spent literally all day basically refreshing the page so I, I will probably open it to be honest with you guys. I'm not I'm not much of a blister collector. I know there's a lot of people out there that like to uh, keep blisters sealed in cases and stuff. I, I don't care too much about the blisters. I think they're really cool. I really like the promo cards from the blisters, which is why I always always open them. And in this case, I only got one, so might as well open it, right? So I apologize, guys. The giveaway for. The fan art contest, unfortunately, will probably not happen unless we're going to get more down the road, which I doubt since there was only 10,000 print run. And based off of my calculations, there will probably there was probably only about 6,000 uh, blister packs that were actually up for sale on the MetaZoo website. You may ask why, and that's because each winner received 100 of the blister packs as uh, basically it's like, hey, congrats, you won type of thing. So... There's 20 cards in the set, 20 times 100, that's 2,000 right off the bat. Plus, you got the NFT folk. And uh, every person that participated, I believe, uh, was going to win, like, I don't know, I think it was somewhere between two to five blisters each. So, essentially, right off the bat, there was only 6,000 uh, pre-NFT sell. Once the NFT sell went on, they probably sold through another 1,000 or so. So, all in all, there really wasn't much stock to begin with. But, I digress. We are here in our hunt for the almighty awful and man this pack seems thickums and we are also on the hunt for uh what's the other one i got i think i got most of the wild seven i think i still need i need awful i need no i got i got mishy peshu i got bigfoot already i got dragon of console falls so i need awful oh and i need snipe dude i really need snipe so See what we get here. Reverse Hollow, Jeanette and Rosetta Vandervoort. And we got a regular Golden Bear. Man, these little, these, these like special Terras, man. I'm actually going to set those aside. Those actually sell for quite a bit of money. I mean, not, not like too much, but like in regards to bulk, they're actually pretty, they're, they're pretty consistent. I think you can get anywhere between 50 cents to like, two dollars for one of those special terras so i'm gonna i'm gonna put that right where you guys can see it that's my special terra spot right there that's my golden bear and then of course toxic water is another one that's actually doing pretty good so the free for those of you guys that have bulk and stuff you can actually sell the toxic water for like 25 cents each so that's really good especially for a bronze card so we're gonna leave the bronze cards here that are actually worth money and, oh, actually, Anti-Magic Potion is another good one. I'm going to put that one right there. That was a great pack, dude. Okay. Let's keep this train rolling. I'm going to try to go through all these pretty quickly, as I usually say. But, you know, that's never the case. Wow. Holy. You know what they say about dinged boxes, guys? Wow. Two packs in, we already pulled a Prism Aura, dude. Oh, that is awesome. Where the heck did I leave all my sleeves at? This is terrible. I'm going to place them right there in the beautiful middle section. Wow. So, backstory for this box. For those of you guys that didn't watch my Alpha Investments uh, 
Rudy Bundle kit opening type of thing. So the kit came with two booster boxes and one of them that I received came extremely dinged as you can probably see here. It was like smushed on, on like every single corner. And so <laughs> there's this there's this old thing where damaged booster boxes and product tend to have the best pulls and boy was I just proven right. Wow, that's probably the best card. Obviously aside from the chase cards or I mean the like the lottery cards in um you know Green Man and uh the golden ticket. Prism Aura is the most expensive card currently that you can pull from Wilderness. Uh, uh, from the from the regular rare slot is what I mean. We all know that Green Man probably sells for several thousand dollars. Lord knows how much a golden ticket card would actually go for. I, I mean, heck, I don't even know. I think there's only been two that have been pulled, and I don't even know if they've, they've been for sale. But anyways, let's keep going. Wow, that was a great, that was a great thing. Hey, Power Cell is another good one to have. So Power Cell sells for about 40 to, actually it was 25 to 50 cents last I checked. We've got ourselves a Reverse Hollow Rocky. I think I already have that dude. And we have a Starlight Sigil with an Overgrown City as the Special Terra. Wow. I can't get over the fact that we already pulled a, a Prism R. I wonder if we can pull two. Heck, I wonder if we can pull three. Wow, that would be great. I'll tell you what, I think my luck just changed for Wilderness for booster boxes. This this is arguably, arguably, blah, blah, arguably, geez, I can't even talk right anymore. This has argu arguably <laughs> been one of the best products I've ever opened. Oh, we got a reverse Wampus Cat. I actually need this one for my master set. So he's going to go up here, which I know is what where my, my needed cards are going to go. We got another overgrown city for our, for our um, uh, special Terra. And we got a Chibi Cumberland Dragon. Cool. We're going to keep on rolling through. Wow, I still can't. I'm, wow. You know, I'm actually debating whether I should even grade some of these extra cards, like the the uh, Prismara that I just pulled. Like, geez, that's such a beautiful card. All right, we got a... Uh, ooh, I think this is new. I don't think I've pulled this one. Fur-Bearing Trout, Reverse Hollow. <laughs> that's really cool. I'm going to put them up there. I don't think we've pulled... We've only pulled one full Hollow card so far, which, I mean, dude, I cannot complain. Like, we, we pulled the freaking... Probably the best full hollow. Actually, it is the best, at least value-wise, uh, hollow card that you can pull from Wilderness. I mean, this alone accounts for, I think this is selling for like 60 bucks. So if a booster box right now in the open market on TCG Player and the like is like 100 to 120, it basically pays for about half of the box, which is phenomenal. Ooh, voice pill. Oh, uh, we got a duplicate. We got another uh, Jeanette and Rosetta Vandevoort. I still don't know their story. Oh, we got a little tiny island. This one is actually holding up a lot of value. So this one's actually above a dollar still, I think. So that's going to go there. Boom. So, I don't know. I'm having quite a bit of fun with Wilderness. Uh, I'm nowhere near completing my master set, unfortunately. And, oh my god! We pulled the one I've been chasing, dude! Oh... So from the beginning, this has been my personal chase card. Like quite literally, this was a card that I said, you know what? I want to pull this one from my booster box. Wow. And we got a Midnight Lake Sigil for the non-hollow. Dude, this box is just, oh my God. You know, let me, let me put that up there in the needed cards. And we got a Stunning Storm. Okay, dude. Wow. Holy cow. This box is already a, an extremely extremely good box in my opinion wow <coughs> wow geez excuse me i can't believe it i wonder what else we're gonna pull in this box possibly an awful who knows we got a reverse hollow megalodon tooth we already got several of those bad boys but for those of you not in the know the megalodon tooths actually hold quite a bit of value and we got a non-hollow woolly mammoth for our regular rare wow not gonna lie to you guys, this is this is probably the best wilderness box that I have opened. Um, wow, quite like quite literally, it's probably the best booster box that I have opened thus far. And granted, I've only opened up two for the channel, but uh, still, like, dude, are you kidding me? A dragon of a Kanto Falls. I think I've pulled this dude like three times. These still have pretty good value. I think these sell for like fifteen bucks. Wow. Dude, this box is freaking loaded. Oh my gosh. 
Let me let me put that up here in the in the big boy section. Then we got a non-hollow megalodon tooth. Again, megalodon tooth, non-hollow, hollow, reverse hollow. It holds quite a bit of value. So, just in case you guys didn't know, you know, there's actually quite a bit of cards in Wilderness which hold pretty dang good value for like the card slot. I mean, the one good thing about MetaZoo is that the hollow and reverse hollow cards they tend to hold value pretty much long term. We got a reverse radioactive hornets. I think I already have this one, but just in case I don't, I'm gonna put it up there. And cool, we're gonna put that there. Holy cow, dude, we got, <laughs> so, so far we have pulled a two of the wild seven. That is phenomenal. I really want an awful. I have yet to pull an awful. Let me just put those cards right there. Oh, reverse lizard people, already got him. So I'm gonna put him right there. And a non-hollow fountain of youth. Ooh, we got another cosmic rain there. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking, wow, this dude is really unorganized. And you're absolutely right. Sometimes life be like that, fam. And you know, oh my God, I forgot to show this card off. We got a non-hollow sparkling root. That's my bad. I'm gonna put these right here. Wow, 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 wow. Dude, this is, you know, I may say quite often that the spell books are probably the most undervalued products, but let me tell you, there's, I think this is the reason why, oh wow, look at that. I think I already have this one, but just to be safe, ooh, and a non-hollow wampus cat, I actually needed this one, I think. I'm gonna put them both up there just to be safe. Ooh, we got a white out special Terra. But uh, like I was saying, I may say that uh, the spell books are great value, but dude, this is why people really like booster boxes because you get these type of pulls. And granted, I've actually pulled, I pulled the Dragon of Conto Falls from a spell book, or no, from a release event box or something like that recently. So there's value in every single product. Power cell, reverse hollow, Poplic monster. I think I already have this one, but I'm going to keep it up there just in case. Non hollow frozen spirit sigil. Nothing too fancy. But I'm telling you, man, I'm actually pulling out all the. Bronze and silver cards that I know hold, you know, a quarter value or more for the most part. Just to, you know, continue it on. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, reverse John Henry. Already got him for sure. I already know that. We got a non-hollow Cumberland Dragon. Another stunning storm. And that's about it so far, fellas. Let's see. I wonder if we can pull another, another of the uh, Wild 7 cards here. Let's find out. Ooh, we got a full hollow black dog. I already have this one. I'm going to leave them. Uh, uh, I guess I'll leave them right there. Okay. And we got a big tall mountain. Special Terras, man. I really want a snipe, man. I haven't been able to pull a snipe yet. Uh, I still want, I still need a snipe. I need a snipe. And I need a, whatchamacallit. Oh my God, we just pulled a freaking Bigfoot. Okay, 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 this box is broken and I'm all about it. Holy, so that's three of the wild seven. You know what, let me put, let me put the black dog over here. Sorry, little black dog, I'm, I'm gonna put the wild seven up here. So, oh my God, holy cow. Non-hollow Big Bird, and oh, we got a quiet night, special Terra. So, I still need Snipe and I still need Awful in order for me to complete the Wild 7. I believe those are all the ones that I need. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I already have Mishi Peshu, I have Bigfoot, I have Prism Aura, I have Dragon of Akanto Falls. Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need? What else do I need? I may be missing one other Wild 7 that I just can't remember, but wow, dude. Oh my God, this box. We're not even halfway done and we have just pulled quite literally the two most expensive cards in this set in the regular you know regular hollow slot not including secret rares the bigfoot is selling for like twenty dollars currently the prism is selling for about 60 dragon of Conto falls is like 15 we've quite literally paid for the entire box just with these three cards like that is just nuts to me that that boggles my mind <laughs> Ooh, we got a reverse jackalope Non-hollow black dog and no special terrors in that pack. Wow. I can't, I'm not even mad. I'm not even, if I thought my first
booster box opening on this channel was nuts. This just totally beat it. This just to oh, we got a reverse hollow kindling spark root. Non hollow big bird again, and nothing special, nothing special. But yeah, dude, that first box, man. That first box was something else too, but this one pulled a Prismara, a Bigfoot, and a Dragon of Oconto Falls. Like, what the heck? What the heck? And we got another reverse rubberidoo, rubberidoo. Non hollow golden haired girl, nothing special for the Terras. I can't even think straight, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Man, if I can pull an awful, this is going to be like the best box of ever, of any box opening thus far. Besides, of course, the ones that are uh, secret rare. Hey, we got a Skunk Ape Reverse. Already got that bad boy. We're going to put him there. non hollow what is that? Uh, green Cloud Monster. And we got a special Terran, the Abandoned Silo. There go. Yo, my bad. Totally should. Start, I smacked my camera pole. Speaking of camera, let me tell you guys a story. Never ever buy off-brand action cameras off of Amazon, even if they may cost quite a bit. I'm not going to name any names, but I've had to return one because it just was not what I expected. Got a reverse hollow Mad Gaster of Mattoon, non-hollow Frozen Spirit Sigil, and we got another Big Tall Mountain Special Terra... Yeah, yeah, don't buy action cameras that are probably not GoPro or Sony related uh, because the software quite literally sucks and the camera's quality are not as high as those are. So just take my word for it. Don't struggle like I did. Ooh, we got some reverse schmooze. We got a Germinate non hollow. Ooh, look, another quiet night. Man, are we going to get lucky? Are we going to pull another, another wild seven? We got three of the seven so far. See what we can pull up in here. Dude, holy cow, we got a full hollow Iowa dragon. <laughs> full hollow Iowa dragon. That is phenomenal. I'm gonna put you up there and put you right there with the other good hollows. Non-hollow golden bear, another big tall mountain. Wow. So let's talk about wilderness prices. So the prices are doing really good, at least in my opinion. I think there's only a few boxes left at the $100 to $105 price point on TCG Player, which means any day now these are going to go. Oh, we got a full hollow jackalope. Beautiful. Let me just, let me just, let me just put it right there. Whatever. Germinate and a cosmic rain. So within the next few days, you should see the prices of these MetaZoo Wilderness boxes kind of go back up to $115 because the supply is running out at the $100 to $110 range. At least that was a, as of the making of this video. Dude, dude, holy cow, another full hollow Bigfoot. Oh my God, and a non-hollow Megalodon. Dude, what is this box? I love it. Give me a snipe or give me a snipe. I wasn't gonna say death, because I really don't wanna die. I kinda like living, because you know, I get to open MetaZoo and have fun with you guys. Holy, and we got a full hollow Big Bird. Let's go, Big Bird. Non-hollow Midnight Lake Sigil. Dude, holy cow. Jeez. Like, I quite literally hit, like, dude, I'm glad I opened this damaged box. Holy cow. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, non-hollow, uh, what is that? Phantom Jogger of Canyon Hill? I'm gonna put that right over here. Ooh, non-hollow hateful demise. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, I'll see you. Man, I'm gonna lose my, I'm gonna lose my stuff if you catch my drift, if I open up any more heat up in here, dude. Let's see what we get in here. Let's see what we get in here. Oh, we got a reverse hollow unicorn. I think I already pulled this one, so I'm gonna set that aside right there. Non-hollow haunted tundra. And we got a Grand National Park for the Special Terra. We're probably down to like six packs or something like that. So let's see what else we can get. Wow, dude. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm happy. I'm extremely happy. We basically pulled. Oh, we already got the Public Monster again on a Reverse Hollow. And then a Non-Hollow Iowa Dragon, no Special Terra. Uh, I can't complain. <laughs> I really can't. Uh, wow. Like, that Prismar is literally half the box cost. 
And the two Bigfoots just... Oh, we got a reverse Night Marchers. I already got these dudes, sadly. We got a non-hollow uh, Golden Bear. And we got a special Terra Ocean Waters. Ocean Waters. Wow. Oh, boy. Is this a snipe? Nope, it's Cumberland Dragon. Wow, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow, what a box. What a box. Ooh, we got a full hollow German. I got... Dude, I got freaked out for a second. I saw that green and I thought it was another Bigfoot. Wow. Non-hollow Jackalope, no special Terras. Let's see here. Wow, dude, we still got three packs to go. Three packs to go, holy. See what we get, see what we get. Reverse Weeping Black Angel. And a non-hollow Iowa Dragon. Nothing special in the Terra department. All right, what is this? Snipe? Maybe he'll be my lucky one. I need an awful or a snipe, please. Please, I just want just want one of each. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Full hollow token sitter. <laughs> hey, all right. I'll take it, dude. I think we pulled quite a bit of full hollows. Uh, Non-hollow Cumberland Dragon. No special Terras. And I didn't see any special in the reverse. I'm sorry, in the bronze or the silver. Dude. Holy crap, we're down to, what is that, one, two? Okay, we got three more. This is two more after this one. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh, beautiful full hollow haunted tundra. I love it. Absolutely. Man, I got a mess of cards here now. Let's see here. And we got a non-hollow golden-haired girl with a nice little quiet night, nighttime special Terra. Wow, we're about to, I'm about to put all my full hollows up in here. Let me see, let me just do this real quick, just in case I missed any, okay, cool. Okay. All right, just so I can see how many full hollows we got compared to uh, the average of being, what, 12? We got another anti-magic potion. Dude, we did it! Oh, second to last pack, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love this box. Okay. Okay. That was awesome. <laughs> Old Man Winter non hollow. Holy. Holy, dude. I don't even know what to say, but thank you. Thank you, Damaged Booster Box. You. Quite literally made my dream come true. All I need is just a snipe, and I'm done with the Wild 7, I believe. And, oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Ah, uh, Reverse Hollow Green Clawed Monster. And Midnight Lake Sigil with a Cosmic Rain. Dude, okay, all right. That was freaking nuts. Let's let's kind of go over all of the full hollow hits we got here. Let me make sure I don't got any over here. Uh, we're good there. And I think I oh you know what I think I pulled up. I think I got one hidden over here too. One second. Nope. Oh, yep. That's the one. Okay. So in total, <laughs> let's just oh my goodness, dude, full hollow, beautiful, awful, and obviously there's only this version. It does not exist in a non-hollow or a reverse hollow. Look at that. Wow, so we got Awful. We got another one of my dudes that I needed, Cumberland Dragon, Haunted Tundra, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 full hollows with, holy crap, dude. Let's just kind of count here. Nope, that ain't it. Okay, we got one. Two, three, four, five. We have five of the wild seven cards. Or not five, but we got five wild seven cards. Holy cow, dude. Holy cow. I don't even know what to say, dude. I. Oh, dude. Okay. All right. That's it, guys. Like, I'm, I'm just going to. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, I'm so glad I pulled an awful and a prism. 
two Bigfoots, man, and my Cumberland Dragon. Okay, all right, I'm done fangirling for now. Appreciate you guys taking your time to watch this video. I got more product openings coming your way. In fact, I think I'm about to start uh, the next video. I got two spell books, two release event boxes, and two blister packs to go through. So, yeah, stay tuned. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you thought of this box down below. Let me tell tell me what your craziest wilderness box was, because that this was a crazy box. That was a crazy box. So I will see you guys in the next one. Appreciate y'all.